Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. 617 on this Monday. Welcome back. You know, one pleasant morning, it sounds like, to enjoy this week anyway. Yeah, well, I mean, and it depends on what you what like your for definition, morning. Yeah. yeah, because we've got <laughs> a lot of 60s for morning lows. Mm -hmm. I think tonight we'll probably see some more 50s. But this morning, uh, it's a little cool because mm -hmm. some areas have dropped to the upper 40s. So you may want to take that sweater out if you're in Harvey or in Hedinger, areas that have already hit the 40s this morning. But let's take a look at the Almanac. Minot, uh, 82 today. That average high is 83. And so we're looking at pretty much on par temperatures for uh, July. 22nd. The record was set back in 1903 at 101 in Bismarck. More of the same, a very seasonable forecast with 82 for a high and 86 as that average. Uh, 103 was set back in 1901. That was certainly a very hot uh, summer. Here's the uh, the the DOT camera over the Garrison Dam, and you can see we've got some fog developing there, just a little bit of light patchy fog. Um, but we've got mostly clear skies and very, very uh, calm waters this morning because the winds are so light. They're going to stay light for today. Now we do have this ridge of high pressure, this kind of upper level ridge that's brought in some warmer air, drier conditions, and a really quiet forecast for many. I think that Wednesday will be our next best chance for seeing some storms, but between today and tomorrow, just mostly sunny and hot, and we just keep the heat for the rest of the work week. And even when it looks like it wants to break down a bit, I think we could bring in a few chances for some rain here, but we're still getting the southerly influence. So we're still going to keep the heat for the second half of the work week and into the weekend. So it is going to be a hot one this week. Temperatures out the door, like I was telling you, uh, slightly cooler than what we've been so accustomed to lately with some upper 40s in Hedinger as well as into rugby. And, and now Harvey back at 50, kind of uh, pretty typical to see those temperatures wobble this time of day. 60 degrees, that's a warm spot in Minot and wind speeds barely registering on my map here staying light from the southeast this afternoon around 5 to 10. So the highs are back in the low 80s for many of us. Now it will be uh, probably the coolest day that we will see this week because we just crank the heat from here on out. So today sunny and light wind speeds. Here's 5 p.m. So you can see not too much going on. Let's head into tomorrow. Here's 6 a.m. tomorrow. Again, this is not broken. There's just nothing going on to show you. Maybe a few in and out clouds on Tuesday, but the highs are back into the 80s again. In fact, might even see some pushing 90 off towards the west tomorrow. It's going to be Wednesday. We've got this cold front that will move in on uh, Wednesday morning into Montana and then through parts of the state through Wednesday evening. We'll have to watch this. This could be our next best chance for any storms that could become strong to severe. So here are the highs tomorrow. Again, cranking the heat up, pushing 90, if not hitting that in parts of eastern Montana, Montana Wolf Point in the low 90s. But the rest of us in the 80s, it is going to be hot in the coming days. And you can see that here on the Dickinson three day back to around 90. In fact, low 90s for many of us on Wednesday in the west. Breezy conditions as well, which might be welcome for some. Getting that wind to pick up a little bit with those 90s will feel pretty good. Here's the Williston three day forecast back into the upper 80s and then low 90s on Wednesday. Now here is a a look into the weekend and you can see that we're going to carry that heat through not just the uh, week but into the weekend as well. Small chances for rain and storms at this point. Again, that's because of that uh, upper level ridge that I was telling you about that was built over much of the United States really promoting sunshine, promoting warmth. And you can see here breezy conditions at this point for the second half of the work week. I think that's going to be something we'll be talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, might be welcome for some who need that reprieve from the 90s and maybe help with the mosquitoes. And that too, that would be man, nice. they are yeah. rampant this year. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Amber. Keep it with us on Good Day Dakota, still ahead. 